In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best shotgun run defenses in Madden 23. It's going to be very simple to set up, and you're going to be able to stop literally every kind of shotgun run that you're going to be facing online. Now, if you're watching this video, I want to make sure that you know about my Patreon. Patreon is where I post all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. For just $10, you can get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon. That's over 22 offensive and defensive schemes that is going to not only teach you the best material of available in Madden, but it's also going to teach you how to think so that you can actually create your own stuff if you would like to. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link is going to be in the description, and I guarantee you that it's going to make you a better Madden player. All right, guys, let's talk about shotgun run defense in this video. Um, we're going to be coming out in the nickel over uh, for this. I'll show you how to do it out of other formations in just a second, but I want to start with why the nickel over is so good. Now, the best runs in Madden are going to be from right to left, generally speaking, unless the quarterback is left-handed. If you didn't know, and I'll show you here in tight slots, I'm just going to come out in the nickel over. We can come out in any play in nickel over. Any play will work uh, for this. I'm going to use the play uh, cover one uh, hole. That's a great play for this. Now, um, inside zone, this has the running back on the left hand, uh, on the left side of the screen. If you are running inside zone or quick base or 01 trap or even play action, it doesn't necessarily matter. There's a principle in Madden that teaches essentially that the running back, if the running back is on the same side as the quarterback's throwing hand, he is going to get a faster and better handoff animation. If he is to the opposite side of the quarterback's throwing hand, in this example, Aaron Rodgers is right-handed and the running back's to the left side, um, if he is to that side, you're going to notice that it's a slower, more sluggish handoff animation. So the setup for this run defense is actually fairly straightforward. All we're going to do is pinch our defense. And then what I will recommend to you is you can choose. You can either use um, this linebacker here, or if you want really incredible run defense, you can use her this safety down here. So for the first example, we'll just use the linebacker. And then what we're going to do is we're going to crash our defensive line up. And I like to stand just up and to the left, just like this right here. What you're going to see, if they run inside zone, I'm either going to get a clean shoot into the A-gap or the defensive tackle is going to get a disengage. So it's very simple run defense, as you can see right here. See how it gets that disengage every single time. Now, if I want to help out a little bit, what I can do is I can blitz this right side linebacker. So a little five man, you know, kind of little five man uh, pressure type thing. And what you'll start to see is now the linebacker is also going to disengage too down the A-gap. So either you're going to shoot it yourself or if it's a longer handoff animation, which is what I'm getting right here, then you're going to get a disengage. Either you're going to shoot it or you're going to get a disengage, especially if the ball is on the left-hand side of the field uh, or if the running back is on the left-hand side of a right-handed quarterback. It's a very slow handoff animation. Now you're going to notice if I flip this play, all I'm doing is putting the running back on the opposite side. I'm going to pinch my defense, and you're going to notice here that he's going to get a significantly faster handoff animation. Now we're still getting the disengage that I talked about. All you have to do is literally just pinch your defense um, and cover one hole, it's already crashed out for you. Uh, and then I like to stand just, just a little bit, just a little bit behind that DT because if they block me, then I'm going to get a disengage. Another thing that I think is a super underrated tip is if you're trying to stop the run, put your user on a deep blue zone. Put your user on a deep blue zone. The lineman won't recognize you as well um, as they would if you were on a blitz or if you were on some kind of underneath zone. This is also why it is really helpful to use her, um, this deep blue safety because he's not in the run fit. So the linemen aren't going to typically recognize him at first, which gives you that window to be able to shoot in the backfield and stop the shotgun run game. Now, you might be saying, well, this is really good, but what about some of the more exotic shotgun run games um, that I might face? For example, um, you know, what about, you know, different types of a one trap type of, of runs out of shotgun? Glad you asked. Let's talk about it. So here's gun doubles offset, a one trap. How do you shoot this? This actually, this defense really kills a one trap because if you think about it, the guard is pulling to the left hand or from the right to the left. So essentially what's going to happen here is you're just going to shoot right in the backfield just like that. And that's very similar to how it's going to play out of tight offset, tight end. All you have to do is just get in any four down lineman set. 
and you're going to stand on the running back side guard, and you're just going to run right through. And as you can see, you're going to blow up pretty much every run in the game. Now, another question that you might be having is, okay, Cody, this is great, but I run dollar or I run nickel 3-3 cub, right? How do I run this same basic defense that is going to be good against 0-1 trap and good against inside zone out of 3-3 wide or 3-3 or cub or, or dollar, right? How do, I, how do I run it out of other things? What I like to recommend to people is actually fairly straightforward. Again, you're still going to use the running back side defensive uh, guy, and all you're going to do is you are going to shift your defensive line to the left. So away from the running back, and then you're going to crash them out. What that's going to do is it's going to give this void right here because the guard's going to block this guy, the tackle's going to block this guy, and you are kind of hiding, if you will, behind the line of scrimmage. Now, even if you get blocked, your linebacker is going to be able to help you. But again, just a very basic, like just shifting the line to create a two-down lineman kind of gap allows you a lot more integrity to be able to shoot through. Now, another little tip with stopping the run out of dollar that I really like this year is simply standing, like what I call, it's essentially a cross technique. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use her, this, this is the running back side guy. We're gonna use her him over the center. And essentially, if you notice the center's blitz angle, he's blitzing toward the running back. So we're just gonna loop through this blitz angle and essentially take that nose tackle and create this cross technique. And it creates all these kind of disengages out of dollar and 3-3 wide, 3-3 cup. Now, I think 3-3 cup is a little better uh, for the shotgun run game than dollar is. I'm gonna show you why. Um, because what's gonna happen is in dollar, those linebackers are not quite as good at shooting the run, um, or I'm sorry, those slot corners are not going to be quite as helpful because they're a little bit farther out. But what you'll get with this 3-3 cub is if you shift your linemen, typically you can shift them either side. Um, I like to shift them away from the slot corner. But if you shift these linemen like this, then you're going to get an, a lot more disengages because you have a more packed, a more tightly packed front than you do out of a dollar formation, for example. So, you know, again, you just shift, you know, kind of, I would just shift opposite of the slot corner. And if they run inside zone, Inside zone probably has the best chance, but if they want 0-1 trap or inside zone, you're going to have a pretty good shot at stopping this. Stopping the run is critical to any effective defense. It doesn't matter what defense you are in. You have to know how you are going to stop the run. If you want to get all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, every defensive ebook has detailed run defense that you can use to stop both shotgun and under center runs. So if you want to check that out, make sure to join the Patreon. The link's going to flash on your screen. You can click that link or you can head down to the description to check it out. Ten bucks gets you access to everything, and I guarantee you that it's going to make you a better Madden player. So make sure to get signed up for the Patreon. Ten dollars gets you access to all of our eBooks and updates.